Hello and welcome to it's summertime. <clears throat> Sorry, I mean welcome to what not to do in the summer. Cause we are falling apart. We are in summer. We're in the summer. It's summer. In case for some odd reason you didn't know that. Well now you know. But anyways, on to the video. It's the month, year, time of summer. Year of summer? Look, I just said that sentence because it came out of my mouth, okay? What not to do in case it wasn't already obvious during summer. Look, it's the summer. You don't want to drive around with the windows up and no AC on. If you're in a car, put the AC on. Also, what you don't want to do is not wear enough deodorant. Lather that stuff on. Here's the thing. To not have enough deodorant is the worst thing. But you can never really have too much deodorant on. Why am I talking about deodorant? Because it's summertime, and without deodorant, well, you're gonna get a little bit of body odor going on, and we don't want that. Also, during this time of year, your body is just begging for water, so you can never drink too much. Keep your body hydrated. By the way, I wasn't pointing at you right there, I was pointing up towards the sky. Why? I don't know. I'm serious, look, it's summer. You need to be more safe than sorry. Or actually, you'd rather be safe than sorry. Sunscreen, you need the sunscreen, put the sunscreen on, lather it up. You need to take care of the skin, all right? No, I'm serious though, put sunblock on. You may not really think it's a big deal, but down the line, it could have some severe consequences. And we don't want that do we sunblock water maybe the two most important things about the heat in the summer or the heat and the summer with the sun also are you one of those people that just loves to wear a sweater i understand it's kind of comfy to wear a sweater but geez for the love of your body's personal sakes for the love of your body's personal sakes for the love of the comfort of your body let the body air out let it get some air because right now in this time of summer your body the body needs to breathe and if you ain't letting it breathe well guess what it's suffocating i mean at the end of the day you can do whatever you want you want to wear a sweater go ahead and wear a sweater i'm just saying when you take that sweater off and you're all sticky and sweaty don't say I didn't warn you. Also, if you have to carry a big tub of water, go ahead and do so. I mean, it's better to have more water than you're actually gonna drink than to not have enough. Like, you ever go somewhere, you have one of those days where you go somewhere, right? You're going somewhere in the car or whatever. You're taking a little bit of a trip. And when I say trip, I don't actually mean like a long trip. I just mean you're gonna go somewhere. You go somewhere and all of a sudden you're thirsty. But hey, guess what? You're not exactly right by a store. You just wish you had something right there, right then and there. The family or the friends don't wanna really stop. They just wanna get to where they're going. And you're looking around for something to drink. But hey, guess what? There's nothing to drink right now. Except if you would have brought your big old clunker with you, well, you would have been alright. But since you didn't, well, now you're parched. It's summer. Don't be parched. Water is good for the skin, the eyes, the ears. No, really. Though. I don't know about the eyes and the ears, but it's good for the skin. The number one rule for summer. Have fun. Stay hydrated. Stay cool. And take care of yourself. I mean, you want to last a long time, don't you?